Welcome to Linda's Take on Office. Today we are going to learn how you can create a page of labels using Word with information from an Excel spreadsheet. So I have an Excel spreadsheet that I've called Excel Address Labels. It's a list of people that I want to send some invitations to, so I'm going to print out some labels. You can see I have an address field, a last name, first name, and I have my city, state, and zip. Everything is already set up in this table in Excel. So now I'm going to open up a blank Word document. Got it right here. And here in my blank Word document, I'm going to come up to the Mailings tab. From there, I'm going to come down here to Start Mail Merge. And this is where I can choose what information, I mean, what do I want to create? A letter, envelope, I'm going to choose Labels. Then over here you can see there's Label Vendors. This is where you can choose different types of labels. It just depends upon which one you are using for your address labels. I'm going to use the 5160 address labels, and I'm going to say OK. Now I need to come in and I need to select the recipients. So I'm going to select recipients. I'm going to use an existing list. And I saved my address list on my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop, Excel address labels, open. Then all the tables in that document are here. And I would only have one table, so I'm going to select that say OK. And you can see here is where my records would be entered. So I've got a blank record here, the next record, and so forth and so on. I want to insert a field. Now remember your Excel spreadsheet was set up with address, first, last, city, state. So up here on Insert Merge Field, we're going to enter those in. And you want to remember how labels are usually set up. They're usually set up by first name, then last name, then on the second line is address, and on the third line is your city, state, zip. So here I'm going to go to first, because that's the field I want to enter, and I want to put a space, because I want a space between the first name and the last name. Come back to insert merge field and choose last. Now I'm going to hit the enter key, insert merge field, I'm going to choose address, and I'm going to hit Enter to go to the third line. I'm going to come back to the Insert Merge field. I'm going to hit City. I want to put a space. Insert Merge field. State. I want another space. Insert Merge field. And Zip. So I have my first label set up like I want it to look. I'm going to Update Labels. So now all of them are set up in that same way with that information. If I come over here to preview results, you can see it's taken the information from my Excel spreadsheet and it's entered in all of the label information for me. You can look through them and just kind of eyeball them, make sure everything is okay how you want it. Now I'm going to come over here to finish and merge. I'm going to edit individual documents and I want to merge everything. Now this is where if you only want a select range from your existing, from your labels documents, you can do it here. I want to merge all of them. I'm going to say OK. And now I am ready to put my paper, label paper, in my printer and print these. I want you to notice up here I have my little icon right here. If I select this, You'll notice up here on my, I have a table design. I'm just going to add borders just to show you that basically what you're working with here at, when you're working with these labels is just one huge table. And so they've already set up the parameters of the, the label for you in the table. So all you have to do is print. Uh, you can, of course, you don't want to print usually with your lines on here. So I'm going to reselect this table choose borders, say no border, and then print. Thank you for joining me today on Linda's Take on Office. Today we looked at how you could create address labels from an Excel worksheet. If you 
would like to be notified when I post videos, please subscribe to my channel, and I hope you like my videos as well. Have a great day, and again, thank you for joining me here on Linda's Take on Office.